of using Windows, I've kind of noticed that one of the reasons why people kind of suffer a lot for Windows updates, especially when they want to use their data for something else, or they are currently in a hurry to get something done, and only for them to notice that the their internet speed is quite is quite slow at that point in time is because they can't visually see what their PC is up to at the moment and this is because they don't have um, a speed meter which makes it kind of difficult to track how your data is going and what is really happening if um If I'm browsing now, nobody really knows. I don't really know what is happening. I can't see how my data is going. The same thing happens if my Windows is updating itself. If my Windows is updating itself, there's no way I'll be able to tell if it's updating itself or not because I don't have a means of tracking that. Now we have to put an end to that, which is why I created this video for you. Moving forward, to be able to track your Windows PC and know when it is updating, when your internet speed is not okay for you, the uplink, the downlink and everything else, your daily data usage on your PC and all that, if you want to be able to keep track of that, all you have to do is to go to your Microsoft Store. I believe it works on Windows 8 as well. It works on 10 and 11. I've not tried it on 10. On 8, I believe it should work on 8 and 8.1. Now, when you get here, leave everything else. Type net speed. So there are lots of them here. Okay. Net speed. So this one is um, pro plus the plus version. You have to buy it. Then this net speed meter, you it's it, this one is free, and you can still pay for it if you are satisfied with. Um, the services you are getting from them so i'll click on it i already have it on my pc so i'll just click on open but on your own you see download just download it it's around um i think 500 kilobytes or something so it's not something that will kill you so once you are done downloading you can arrange and then go to settings by default it is set to this bit per second when you are using bits per second your data reading will be in megabytes per second which means if your internet is very good you might be seeing gigabytes per second meanwhile it is going at megabytes per second or maybe you'll be seeing 10 gigabytes per second and your own is around a gig per second or thereabout and if you are having megabytes per second, this guy might be running up to gigabytes per second because you are using bits per second. So I prefer using bytes per second to make it much more realistic for me. So when the network is very bad, at this point that my PC is idle, I'm seeing 0 0.1 kilobytes as my upload and 0 0.2 kilobytes as my down download. Once my window starts updating itself, this whole stuff starts skyrocketing, especially the downlink. The one up here is called the downlink, while this is called the uplink. Uplink for uploading, downlink for downloading. As my PC is idle now and my Windows Defender is trying to update, my Windows is trying to update itself, there will be some massive spikes here depending on um, the health of my internet at that point. Once I'm able to see 
massive spikes here i can just go and disable meter my um my internet connection once i meter my internet connection it will stop reading massively trying to use my data to update itself and then i can update it whenever i want the next thing you can do you can choose to change fonts maybe simpson apply maybe uh, web things apply um what else apply um let me see if i can get something much more attractive you can play with this at your own convenience french script nope i won't even know what's happening there and there's no need stressing myself no this is too tiny uh the agency fd god forbid area black mm, too good too good too good uh rounded mit bold um i'm not seeing something can i see anything in calligraphy calibri i used to like calibri stuff but not this time um microsoft thing hey ui light um nope i think this was kind of okay or should i stick to the segi ui emoji not bad historic sounds eh? nothing really serious um segway script no 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 uh okay let me i think i have to stick with to this then you can increase your font size depending on you you can inc also increase from here then your color you can choose black you can choose white you can choose blue transparent background custom then you can start changing to whatever you feel like and so just think around choose whatever you want i think this was this yeah so if you think around and then i go to let's say Lionel Messi doesn't want an 8th Ballon d'Or. While a lot of fans are debating who should win the Ballon d'Or between Messi and Holland, Messi gave a shocking reply to the journalist when he was asked how he felt about winning his 8th Ballon d'Or soon. When he was asked, he said, after winning the World Cup, Lionel Messi doesn't want an 8th Ballon d'Or. While a lot of fans are debating who should win the Ballon d'Or between Messi and Holland, Messi gave a shocking reply to the journalist when he was asked how he felt about winning his 8th Ballon d'Or soon. When he was asked, he said, after winning the World Cup, which was the only thing I was missing, I'm much less thinking about the Ballon d'Or. The World Cup was my biggest prize, now I am enjoying the moment. If I win the Ballon d'Or, nice, and if I don't, then nothing happens. Lionel Messi doesn't want an 8th Ballon d'Or. While a lot of fans are debating... If I'm trying to check something else... I'm tracking it. I'm seeing, okay, this is going off. Remember, when you are browsing, you are looking at um, your... Mostly your downlink. Because you are trying to download stuff over the net. Then when you are trying to send stuff to your WhatsApp, your Twitter, 
tip sock and stuff you are looking at your opening as you're uploading stuff to the net so whatever i'm doing i can easily track what is happening close browser at this point something is using my data i don't know what it is 